What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber and this is Watch Face Wednesday. So we're going to take a look at another watch face today and this is Rugged and it is $1.49 on the Play Store and this used to be one of my favorite favorite all-time watch faces but there's one problem with it since upgrading to Android 2.0 and the developers have not done anything about it but it's still a good watch face but I would say go for the free version. The pro version which I'm going to show you here is $1.49 still on the Play Store. For those of you that happen to just have Android Wear 1.0 still, this might be the best watch face for you. I'm hoping the developers will watch my video and update their app because it is a nice watch face and it does deserve its moment in YouTube history. So let's take a look at this right away. All right, guys, so this is the main face of the watch and it is a beautiful design. I'm really liking this design and this is what it looks like in ambient mode which we will get back to but i like this watch face because it is laid out really nicely and it is pretty cool so here on this corner you do have your watch's battery life here you have the date and the day showing as well as your phone's battery life obviously your time and then the weather so this watch face definitely shows you a lot and what's really cool about this watch face is the ambient mode which just popped in right there but we'll get into that a little bit later so you might ask why i don't like this watch face anymore and i'm going to get into that right now it is because you can no longer change the color options so before you used to be able to change the color of the time and whatnot but the color options no longer work on this so i'm going to show you what does work if you go to background type you can change from a texture or just to a color and you'll see right here the color is black so before I'll show you again before you had a texture and let's just get into a few of the textures right now there's one of the textures you can change it to this color if you'd like so the textures actually do work and there are some really really cool ones this is sort of like a honeycomb type of look I think that's pretty snazzy then you have this one which is sort of like a paint splatter maybe but there are a lot of them. There's even this, this wood one there, which is actually really cool. So that works, and that's really nice. But you can change it to a color, meaning it's just a color background without any sort of texture. But if we go ahead and change the colors, as you notice there, nothing happens. So again, I'll show you this. I'm changing the slider to a yellow color. There it is. I'm pressing OK but the colors just never change. So this must be just a simple fix for the developer to do. And I hope they do because changing the colors was definitely really cool. So for the pro version right now, all your options are really are just to change the texture type or just to add it to plain black if you want. So I'm not gonna go into the background color because obviously that doesn't work. So again, going through these options, and they are broken, but if you do have Android Wear 1.0, it will work for you. Usually you'd be able to do a little gradient type and change it from linear horizontal to vertical or radial, and you could change the color from one to another so that you'd see the color change. And that really was a cool feature. This watch face back in the day was my ultimate, ultimate favorite. I rarely changed it from this one, just because look how cool that looks. That's just amazing. But the color options do not work. And let's get into some other things here. You have some predefined skins, which you can change to. And those actually do work. So you do have some options that they gave you if you want to change it up and add a little color. But I always like to be able to make my own color options. And especially if I paid $1.49, which granted is not all that much, but I did pay for it. And it's something that I would like to be able to change on my own and not have some predefined skin from the developer. But it, I'll show you all those options there. You can take a look at them. So you do have some cool ones that were made for us. So if you're the type that doesn't really like to tinker and make it your own, these color options actually will look really nice if you wanna use them. So let's go back to one that's pretty cool as well. And let's change it to that sort of grayish one. And there we go. That's actually still really cool. Now for me, am I sorry I paid $1.49? No. It's still a great watch face, but I really wish the developer would keep up with it. It wasn't updated since February of this year. So maybe they just got busy doing something else. Maybe life got in the way. Sometimes stuff happens, you know, but I'm hoping they'll watch this video and just make some tweaks to it. I'm sure it doesn't take that much to update it for Android 2.0. 
So there we go. You could change the predefined skins. Now let's get into ambient mode because the ambient mode, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, is really, really cool. So this is what it looks like in ambient mode right now. So you can have a colored ambient or you can just have a black and white, which I changed right now. And it will take a second or two to switch over. There we go. And that's another thing I noticed with Android Wear 2.0 with this specific watch face. There is a little bit of a delay when changing your settings. It does take a little while to send over to the watch. Again, I think this could be fixed with an update. So you can also have notifications in ambient mode or you can disable that. And another cool thing, you can change the type of the clock, right? So what I mean by that, this is the filled option and you can change it to a medium outline and you'll see that it gets a little thinner. Now this also helps with battery life. So that was a great option for them to put in. The less icons you have showing, the more power efficient your OLED panel will be. So that's the medium one. And then you have one more, which is thin. And that just gets a little thinner and lighter. Really nice, saves you on battery life as well. All right, so one color option that does work is if you wanna change the color of time in ambient. So here you'll see, I'll put it on its brightest it should turn to a nice bright white. This will take up more battery life, the darker the better on these OLED panels. So if we make it just a little shade darker, which I did there, you'll see that it is darker. You can barely see it, but you can see it with the naked eye. I don't think that's really showing up on camera. Right, so there are a few more options that do work and I'll show you in ambient mode, but let's make this color a little brighter for us. Let's put that back to the white. Give that a second. There we go. So some things that do work on this watch face and I'm glad they still do work. It is, you can display battery life on the always on display. So you can show your watch and phone battery. You can display the date, which just popped up right there. And then also the day of the week. And again, the more that you display on ambient mode, the more power it's gonna take up. So I usually just like to keep on maybe my battery and time on the ambient mode. And that's really cool. This does work, but I think, again, it's a little bit of a rant, guys, but if the developers aren't going to update this to Android Wear 2.0, drop the price, 99 cents, 80 cents, something like that, just because it is a broken watch face. But let's just get off of that topic for a second. Let's stay in ambient mode and we can change the format of the date so you can change it from day and month to month and day. You can change it from 24 hour if you like to 12 hour, that's pretty standard. And then you can also change the first day of the week from Sunday to Monday, depending on what you think is the first day a week. So let's keep that on 24 hour and month and day. And then for weather options, you can keep a static weather location or it'll update by itself depending on your GPS location. And the only weather provider you have is Yahoo right now. And you can change it from Imperial to metric if you like. And that's really it guys. This was my favorite watch face and it still is a really cool looking watch face. And at $1.49, based on what I showed you, it's up to you guys if you think it's worth it or not. I already bought it, so I'm still using it. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this watch face. Are you gonna buy it and put it on your Android Wear 2.0 or 1.0 device? And what do you think about it? Anyway, guys, this has been Watch Face Wednesday. I'll talk to you next week. Peace.